to my channel, Sherry DIY Workshop. And today I decided to go ahead and do a quick tutorial on how to paint glass or mason jars with chalk paint. I get that question a lot on what the steps are, so I'm gonna do a tutorial on that for you guys. Now, I know a lot of people start out by cleaning their jars or glass with rubbing alcohol me i as long as i'm not dirty or you know oily or greasy or have any residue i i skip that step i've never noticed any difference whether i do it or not um now i do get some of my jars from my local thrift, thrift store so if i get them from there i usually just wash them with um, dish liquid anyway so and make sure they're fully dry <clears throat> so First step, you just want to pick out you know, whatever color you want. Um, I will say, if you are using a lighter color, it generally is going to take up to two, usually three coats. And if you're using a darker color, I usually do about two coats on that. Um, and you can use acrylic paint for these as well, but for me, I just really don't recommend it and I really don't like. It's, it's just a lot of work. And I find no matter how dry they are in between coats, they still, it wants to pull up the paint when you go in with a second coat. So I really generally just shy away from that, using that paint on any kind of glass. Now, another good option is you can spray paint these fairly easy and they turn out pretty well too. But I do like the chalk paint generally best because I like the general outcome and the look of it and it's just easier to sand off and distress if you like or or whatnot so so first i just take a little bit of paint i know some people go straight down and it's just all about you know preference and for me i've just always done it sideways it's just easier for me and you just want to go in with not too thick just enough to get some decent coverage for your first coat. Just about like that. And they will look streaky and and all that on the first coat, especially. Sorry, my phone died in the middle of it, so I'm now picking back up from where I left off. Um, but as I was saying before, they will look, you know, streaky first coat um, that will all fill in and look much better once you get your second and third coat on. Um, another thing that's preference is painting the bottom of the jar. Totally preference. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, I generally just feel as a whole that it's you know more complete if I do that, but it's definitely not necessary step. So there is the first coat on the white and I'm going to do one in a darker color too so you can see the difference in the coverage when it's a darker or lighter color. So now I'm going to go in with the darker color and this one's called Slate. It's like a dark gray color. And you just do the same thing as you would the other one. But you'll definitely notice that the coverage is just a little better. You don't notice as much streak and all that with a darker color. I really like this color too. It's so pretty. As you can see, there's much more coverage on this than there is with the white. You can definitely notice every little thing on the white. So yeah, that's all there is to it. It's, it's quite simple. And then you're just going to let these dry completely in between coats. And 
go back in, do another coat on this one, and I'll go back in and do two more on that one. Um, I do generally let them get as good and dry as I can in between. If I'm a little impatient or working on a project I'm trying to get done sooner than later, I will take um, my blow dryer actually and just dry them. Um, especially with it being winter time, you know, I generally prefer painting outside because they really dry quick and fast in the sun. Um, but obviously right now, don't have that option. Um, so yeah, so you go in with, you know, let these dry, go in with several more just to, to your liking on, on what you'd like. I also have this Waverly Wax. It's clear and it's water-based and it protects your chalk paint. Now this isn't a necessary, necessarily, a, you know, a half two step. Um, uh, I will say if you're going to be getting your jars wet or they're gonna be, you know, around a lot of water. Um, for instance, I make uh, mason jar bathroom sets and if you're gonna be, you know, around a lot of water, the paint will most definitely um, start slipping off and all that. So you'll definitely wanna put um, a coat of this on and you wanna make it a nice thin, even layer. Sometimes, especially on a, on a lighter collar, it can change you know, make it it's a little yellowish over time, so you won't want to go too heavy with that. But yeah, yeah if it's going to be around water, you will definitely want to use that. Otherwise, it's really not needed. But I will come in at the end and show you what both jars look like after I put two more coats on this one and one more on this one. And I will be back shortly. So here I am back after putting two more coats of the white chalk paint on. And as you can see, that's a much, much better coverage. Um, depending on what you know you like, you can also take a piece of sandpaper and lightly smooth out, you know, any of that, any of the, you know, bumpiness you see, which for me, that's part of its character and why I like chalk paint. I like the, the textures, the texture that it gives. So that one was with the two, two more coats, so three in total. And this is the darker, slight gray. As you can see, this is only two coats and you just do not need any more. It's absolutely covered. And I absolutely just love this color. It's the first time I've, I've actually tried that one in particular and I love that. So, so pretty. So yeah, if you guys would like me to show you how to distress mason jars um, with using the sandpaper or a little sanding bar. Um, if there's any other tutorials that you would like to see or like to know how to do, um, you can leave me a comment and let me know. And um, I'm also curious. I, I generally don't talk in my videos and um, the reason for that is I have five kids and so tonight just happened to be one of the nights that they went to bed at a decent time and I was able to actually pop on here and do this tutorial um, but that's generally not the case but I am curious to know if most of you prefer you know a, just hands-on and you know just music and um, I, I do see some people say they just they don't like the interruption of the talking and it's more distracting Others say they like hands-on work and, you know, someone explaining what they're doing as they're doing it. So, um, yeah, I would just be curious to hear um, your thoughts on that. And I thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment and a like. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.